Hi, I'm David. I'm a postdoc at MIT and at the Broad Institute. And I'm going to talk about privacy preserving federated biomedical analysis with multi-party homomorphic encryption. So the motivation for this project is quite straightforward as biomedical data are collected at a large scale by many different institutes and to better utilize this data to enable new discoveries, this data need to be shared. For example, in genome-wide association studies, it is well known that having a large number of individuals is very important in order to detect even weak genetic signals. The problem is that these biomedical data are difficult to share because they are sensitive and are therefore protected by strict regulations because there is competition among the different institutes that are collecting the same type of data because it requires to set up complex data access agreements among the different parties and because it increases the risk of data leakage. For all these reasons, sensitive biomedical data are often siloed, therefore underutilized, which at the end of the day undermines biomedical research. So in order to avoid this, one solution is privacy preserving federated computations in which by ensuring the privacy of the data and by controlling exactly which information is revealed from the computation, we can develop solutions that would avoid the roadblocks that I mentioned before. So in this direction, multiple approaches have been proposed. In the fully centralized approach, raw data are directly sent to a third party that computes on all the data. Alternatively, the data providers can locally compute on their data and share the aggregated results with a third party that then combines these aggregated results. Or the data providers can exchange aggregated data in order to perform a federated computation. The problem with these approaches is that there is a risk of privacy leakage as the aggregated data or the raw data can reveal some information about the data providers. So in order to avoid this issue, differential privacy-based solutions have been proposed. In this case, some noise is introduced on the aggregated results um, that are exchanged among the data providers. This, however, introduces bias uh, during the computation, which can make the final result less precise. And finally, there are cryptographic solutions in which the data providers will encrypt or protect the information that they are sharing among each other. This ensures end-to-end -end security as the intermediate results are not revealed. But these solutions are also often limited in the number of parties that can participate in the computation or in the computation that can be performed. So our solution lies in this last category. But by combining two cryptographic primitives, so homomorphic encryption and secure multi-party computation that I will introduce in the next slide, and by combining these two building blocks in a federated setting, we can avoid their disadvantages to enable an efficient solution to compute on data belonging to many different uh, institutes. So the first building block uh, on which we are uh, relying is homomorphic encryption. So in this case, the data providers will encrypt their local data into uh, encrypted vectors. So each ciphertext contains a vector of values. And then these encrypted vectors are sent to a computing party, which can perform a function by computing directly on the encrypted data. So without ever decrypting this data and without having to interact again with the data providers. This also enables parallelized operations as any operation that is done on a ciphertext is done on all the values inside the ciphertext but comes at the cost of a high communication because all data have to be sent to the computing party and can be also limited in the computations that can be performed because all operations are performed on encrypted data. The second building block on which we are uh, building is secure multi-party computation or secret sharing. In this case, the original data are split into shares such that each share doesn't reveal any information about the original data, but then the computing parties can use these shares in order to uh, perform a computation as if they were computing on the original data. 
but without, of course, learning any information on this data. And in this case, the computations that can be done are um, much more versatile. So many types of computation can be done efficiently, such as comparisons, but it comes with a high communication overhead because all data have to be sent to the computing servers and the computing servers have to collaborate in order to perform a computation. So now by combining these two building blocks in a federated setting, we can remove uh, their disadvantages and build on their advantages. So first, we keep the data locally at each data provider so they don't have to outsource their data, which minimize the communication overhead. Then we propose an efficient protocol in order to switch between homomorphic encryption and secure multi-party computation, which gives us flexibility in the computations that we can do. For example, we can rely on homomorphic encryption for operation on large scale data encrypted in vectors and rely on secret sharing to compute efficiently more complex operations such as comparisons. Then we can use the federated setting in order to replace expensive cryptographic uh, operations by interactive protocols and we can perform efficient computations on the local data providers data that are kept in clear text and computing on clear text data is much more efficient than computing on encrypted data. And finally, by using the collective or federated construction of our solution, the data providers can combine the encryption key into a collective encryption key such that any data that are, ex that are exchanged among the data providers are encrypted under this collective key which means that all data providers have to collaborate in order to decrypt um, this data, which ensures a very high security level. So now we have an efficient, generic, uh, secure computation framework, but in order to do sophisticated protocols, it still requires a careful design and adaptation to the federated setting and to the protection mechanisms that we are relying on. We will see this with a genome-wide association study and more precisely with the second step, the principal component analysis, which is the most computationally intensive part. So in PCA, the goal is to reduce the dimension of an input data set by decomposing the matrix into principal components that uh, keep most of the information that is contained in the large scale input matrix. In GWAS, this is used in order to uh, capture the population structure and include it in the association test. So in our case, we have a federated setting. So each data provider is part of the data. And in order to do it efficiently in a secure way, we use an alternative approach to PCA, which is randomized PCA, in which we first reduce the dimension of the, the input dimension before doing the matrix decomposition. And at the end, we reconstruct to uh, the full dimensions. So with this algorithm, we can rely on homomorphic encryption for the large scale operation. So the dimension reduction in the beginning and the reconstruction to the large dimension and the, at the end while we can rely on secret sharing in order to efficiently perform the complex matrix decomposition on a smaller scale data. Then we rely on continuous collaboration among the data providers in order to uh, emulate a centralized execution, so to not lose any information because we perform this computation in a federated way. And finally, we rely on the fact that we can efficiently perform computation on the local clear text uh, data at the data providers to lower the, com the computation overhead by maximizing clear text operations. So in uh, our paper that is currently under revision, we show that our solution scales at worst linearly with all dimensions and that the, its runtime only increases slightly when the number of data providers doubles, so showing that it remains practical with a lot of parties. And we show that our approach obtains the same 
result or the same projection onto the first two components as a centralized non-secure uh, approach independently on how the data are distributed among the data providers, which is not the case of the meta-analysis approach in which the final results are combined and we see that it's less precise. And with the collective solution or the federated solution that we have proposed, we see that each data provider only sees its part of the projection at the end and not the points obtained by the other data providers. We have also shown that our solution can work on uh, larger scale uh, examples by reproducing or simulating an existing biomedical network and showing that with our approach we obtain the same projection as a centralized solu solution in which all the data are pulled together with a runtime that remains very practical. Uh, then we also shown for the full GWAS that uh, our solution obtains the same result as a centralized non-secure solution. So here we reproduce an existing study which was looking at the link between HIV and some positions in the genomes. And we see that our solution um, identifies the same positions as a centralized non-secure solution, which is not the case with meta-analysis or with a data provider using only its subset of the data in order to try to find the signals. So to conclude, we propose an end-to-end -end secure approach that is as accurate as centralized solution and which can be used in order to compute on biomedical data that cannot be pulled together. So unlocking the potential of very large scale data that are already being collected by many different institutes we are currently working on showing that our solution can be used on even large, larger scale uh, GWAS studies. We are also working into broadening the workflows that we can do in uh, our secure solutions. So, for example, with linear mixed models. And finally, we are integrating our solution in a user friendly cloud based platform. So I would like to say thank you to all the people that collaborated to this, to this project. And I would like to thank you all for listening uh, to this presentation.